Since these are lectures now uh, on any kind of subject and not only on Europe, and uh, the idea being that um, if possible. On January 6, 2009, Pierre Vimont, French ambassador to the United States, introduced former French Foreign Minister Hubert Védrine. Mr. Védrine started off the new year in Washington, D.C. to promote his new book. History Strikes Back, How States, Nations, and Conflicts Are Shaping the 21st Century. According to Védrin, the Western powers made a big mistake at the end of the Cold War in believing they had won. This assumption led to what Védrin calls unreal politic, which he discusses. The first version is the version American version, with a credence limited in the solution military solution. This is surely seen at the beginning de l'administration Bush, de l'actuelle administration Bush, dans le premier mandat de l'actuelle administration Bush. Védrine discussed how Europe and the U.S. are placing pressure on countries such as Zimbabwe to resolve their conflicts and how our pressure is largely ineffective. Il y a une pression qui ne marche pas, comme j'ai dit. Donc ça ne marche pas, notre système. Peut... Je crois vraiment que nous, les Occidentaux, nous avons intérêt à, à réinventer la réelle politique. Je veux dire une politique réelle, réaliste, une politique de la réalité, une, une réelle politique qui ne soit pas cynique. Later, Vedrine talked about the new incoming U.S. administration and how they will deal with what he is calling smart real politic. Je sais qu'aux États-Unis, c'est un concept qui n'est pas aimé, donc puisque je euh, euh, entends une sorte de remise en cause du leadership américain, et Barack Obama a dit plusieurs fois dans sa campagne de restaurer le leadership américain. Finally, Hubert Vedrine was optimistic about the Western countries' capacity to reunite, to understand that the world is unstable and multipolar, and to change their policies. Là, le déclin relatif occidental n'est pas évident, en fait. The next lecture in the Colorama series will be given by the French anti-terrorist judge Bruguiere, and it is programmed for the end of January 2009.